Save about 1,000 plus. To work out cheaper for me. 4,000. 215. Even more. Facebook for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. Okay, guys. So in today's interview, uh, recorded interview, I have Jason with me on the line. Uh, he is, uh, the, well, why he's here, he's a, a, a customer of Evo Club Insurance. So uh, we want to hear from him what is his experience like using Evo Club Insurance. But before that, uh, we also want to hear more about what, about his story, right? And, uh, you know, Jason, uh, tell, tell us a bit about yourself. Hmm. Mm. Oh, hello, guys. So yeah. I'm Jason. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm a car salesman. You're a car so salesman. I Recon's car. Recon car. Yes, in uh, JB. In the JB. famous one, the top one uh, in JB is Mutiara Motors. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah. can't miss that building. Uh. Yeah. Your build I don't think there's another uh, building with the Supra on top of the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it the it's the one right. The last time I drove past, I think it was painted yellow and black one, right? Mm, no, it's supposed to be green. Green, uh? green, green, green color. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I remember it's a very distinctive color scheme. One. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So yeah, you're, you're a salesperson with them. Yeah, I work uh, there as a sales salesman. Your first job. Mm, not really, but really? recent years, lah. Recent years. Hey, you don't mind me asking? You look young. You look quite young. Uh, thirty years old this year. Ah, huh? you are thirty, ah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, hey, bro. Wow. You look like you look like you are just fresh <laughs> off the hour, man. Mm, a lot of people say that too. You look like you look like you look like you know this is like your first job. Just got out of, get out of uni, you know. But have mm. you been working as a car salesman all the while? Before this, I sell Toyota uh, and Subaru. Oh, Subaru? Yeah. And how long have you joined Mutiara? Mutiara is like this last two years. Lah. Okay. Oh, wait. So you were with... How long were you with, with Subaru? Ah? Subaru? Ah? Ah. No, I think around one year. Not what really year long, was eh? it? When was it you were with Subaru? What... what was it before or after the XV came into the picture? Uh, after the XV. I think around 2018. Ah, so the, exactly so the time when Sub it just launched. The time Subaru was really like, you know, because the XV was the car that, that brought Subaru's name back yes. up. Yes. You know, made Subaru popular again. Right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, when I, I, I tell you this, you know, when I was growing up, uh, I said this before my video. When I was growing up, I was a Mitsubishi fan. So mm. uh, during my early years as a car enthusiast, right, that rivalry between Mitsubishi and Subaru was something that really, really captivated me. Yes. And you know, as I come into adulthood, uh, Subaru has become a brand that I hold a, a very high degree of respect. Mm -hmm. For you know, for the way they built the cars, the way they engineer their cars, um, yeah, it, it, you know how they are so rigid, sticking with boxer engine, all wheel drive. Yes. I mean, it's, it's something that as an enthusiast we love to see, like. Yes, but it doesn't show us in their car design. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, I joke in a few of my reviews, right? I say Subaru spent all their money. On the chassis, the drive train, all right, there was nothing left for the design and the interior. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so so then what led you to Mutiara? Mm, I think it's sort of like an opportunity. Uh, mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Mutiara is quite like a pioneer mm -hmm. in the market. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, it's not really like, it's not that easy to go in. Then uh, I happen to have a friend inside. Ah. So I was just asking, like, hey, you got any vacancy day? Yeah. But that time I was not so serious until I, I was really considering to enter the company. Ah. Mm. So, so I just went for the interview. Mm. Hey, if I may mm. ask, right, 
what do you feel is the difference between selling new car versus selling recon car? Mm, recon car is a lot more complicated mm. than it thinks. Mm. Mm. Because for the new car market, right? Mm. So you just need to go according to the new car, uh, like all the brochures. It's all fixed. Even the prices are fixed. Yeah. So recon car is more like a, we can consider it like a used car. It is. It is. It is a, because it's just it a is used, a used car. It's a yes. used car from overseas, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. So yeah. it will have different kind of prices. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the procedures and everything, because you get into a lot of involvement like the AP, mm -hmm. customs. Mm -hmm. So all these things uh, actually like, how to say, mm, affect the price that is set. Mm. But, mm. but the actual work of handling the APs and customs and all that is not, it's not at your level, it's, isn't it? It's not, it's not, not, not us. Because by the time it reaches you, the car is like, all this is settled. You just find a customer for that car. Mm, yeah. Right? Most, I mean, the yeah. challenge I can understand, like, because each recon car is unique. Mm. It has its yes. own spec, has its own price. Hey, but one thing yes. I want to ask though, when it comes to getting bank loan, right? Do banks mm. charge the same rate for recon at, or do they charge higher rate for recon? They, they charge the same as new car. So so for as far as the bank is concerned, they treat recon car and, use, and new car the same? New car level, yes. Oh. So basically what I always told my customer is, when you are thinking of purchasing a recon car, right? It's like everything is like the new car. The procedure mm -hmm. is the same, except okay. for your car condition. Yeah. That's a simple way to understand it. Mm. So, okay, let's say like right now, uh now now, now you now you are a salesman. Uh, if let's say like somebody is considering between buying, you know, new car, used car, recon car. You are, you recon car salesman, of course, you will steer the person to the direction of the recon car. Right? But what sort of advice would you give to a potential recon car buyer? What would, what should they always look out for? Mm, more to company. I would say it's the company. Because uh, long the company that has longer track of record, right, mm -hmm. is you will have like, it's more reliable, uh, it's safer. Mm. So Recon Car have this thing that, uh, that I just got to know when I enter the market. Mm -hmm. If your company, mm -hmm. the, one, the one that your car, the mm -hmm. AP belongs to, right? Mm -hmm. If the company close down, mm -hmm. you will have trouble selling off the car. Because what, uh? when you want to get the car, you, uh -huh. uh, you want to get a bank loan, right? Yeah. So they will need to verify the AP. Yes. If the company already closed down, uh -huh. the bank cannot verify it. Okay. So you have no proof that uh, they don't know how do I uh, confirm the origin of this car. So what you're saying is that let's say right now I buy a, a recon car from dealer A. Okay, I take the car already. Three years down the road, I want to sell the car, but dealer A bungkus already. Yes. So the, the 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 buyer will have problems getting loan for my car. Are you is that what you mean? Mm, yeah, you will have a bit of trouble. But but it also what? depends on the AP. Let's mm -hmm. say you buy from the AP holder, then mm -hmm. maybe some trouble. Lah. But let's say it's a reseller. So maybe the AP still belongs to the AP holder, then it shouldn't be a problem. So it so means that at the end of the day, right, when you buy a recon car, yeah. further down the road, if you are reselling it, and some and whoever it is, the next few buyers along the line, if mm. they want to take a bank loan, the the bank will call back the original holder of the AP that brought the car in to verify the car's history. Yes. Yes. If you are buying a recon car, the most important thing is still your AP. 
So it's like uh, you are selling used car. You need to have your registration card, right? Yeah. So for recon, it's the AP, and of course the registration card also, lah. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is this so is this is like it's like our IC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I I would have mm. thought that the site of that AP alone, the the AP document alone, should be enough for the bank, but. Now you're telling me that they want to check with the AP holder some more. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'm that, not uh, sure. I'll... Maybe some bank didn't check. So uh -huh. down the road, I'm not sure about that. But that's what I heard of. Some oh. do have facing this problem. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just learned, you know, I we just... have a lot of case like fake one. Fake know? AP. Like clone, ah, and ah, I think especially right. JB, you so have they need more. to do it. JB, yes. you are you are you have more because you are closer to the source. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hey, so you are, you say what you are five years in in the car sales line, right? Yeah, around there. So can you like name? Can you like share with us maybe one or two of your most interesting experience in this line of work? Interesting experience. Ah. Uh, but don't share, don't, uh, don't tell me things that will get you fired from your job. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no la. Uh, I saw how any any like sample or any example. interesting customers that you that you have encountered. Mm, interesting customer. Ah. I don't think so, not really. Okay, yeah. Let me let me ask ah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Recently, I uh -huh. sold a car. Uh -huh. uh, I have never met the customer before uh -huh. because he's uh, not in Malaysia. Oh, yeah. So for me, it's something new, uh -huh. and yeah, good thing is we still keep in touch, lah. So the he is not in Malaysia. Yeah. He bought the car. But he's a Malaysian. Yeah. Yes. And and the car is registered in Malaysia too. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Have you ever encountered scenario whereby, um, you know this the, the I mean this is a lot this thought, kind of story a lot of car salesmen tell me the story before, but you know it's okay. the scenario whereby this guy walk in dressed shabbily, maybe okay. t-shirt torn and all that right. Then pop suddenly will take out one bunch of. Of money and put on on the table and want to buy a car. Uh, Do you guys have you guys encountered scenario like this before? Uh, at least not on me lah. Maybe my colleague got encountered before. We saw before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I haven't got a chance yet. Uh, but mm, some you, people you, just bring in the bag of cash, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you grew up as a car enthusiast, or do you just like you know you're you're doing you you are in this line because you like cars or you're in this line just to make a living? Mm, maybe both. Maybe I both. do like cars. Mm -hmm. So actually since young, I like cars. Yeah. But I won't say that uh, I'm very extreme type. Like, but something about cars give me a sense of security. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel good. I feel good around cars. Uh, I feel calm, everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice. So I, I even if I sit in the showroom, I see the same car every day, right? Yeah, I feel nice. <laughs> that 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 yeah, okay, okay. I get what you mean. It's like that 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 satisfying feeling when you see that that thing right in front of you. Yes. yes. Right? Right. Yeah. Hey, but how sales over the last one year with MCO and all that? Mm, surprisingly, we are okay. Yeah, surprisingly, we are okay. I think maybe it's because of the company reputation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. So it doesn't, it affects, but not, not by a big margin. Yeah, but apparently, right, at some, at some levels of the market, they even report increase in sales. Like some yeah, luxury brands right. tell me, last one year, they actually increased in sales. Yeah. Uh, but the recon hey. market is more competitive. Uh, but you know the traditional picture we know of the recon market, right? Uh, 
most people tell me it's the well fires and the alphas that that you know that make sure that you have a bottom line. Is that still true today? Mm. Mm. The bottom line. I mean, it's the is it the alphas and well fires that ensure that you guys continue to turn a profit? Mm. We got other cars uh-huh. like. Yeah, recently Alpha and Wellfire has been selling quite well, mm. but the one that has been very good since last time okay. is the Toyota Wish. Mm. Even the Estima is quite good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, but the both of them is no no longer in production anymore. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I remember your yeah. dealership is very was at one point. Very very popular with all the American muscle cars, right? Yeah. Are, are you guys yes, still yes. doing a lot of that right now? Um, mm, because uh our company uh-huh. one there's we got involvement in the motorsport. If uh-huh. you heard of M Seven Japan, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's part of our company. Mm. So we got some like we got our R and D department. Mm. To do differentiate our recon car with mm. others, so if you buy an Alpha or Wellfire with us, mm. you will have different stuff in your car. Oh, like so you guys to do... give your car better power or that. So 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 you guys have a Mutiara special lah, Mutiara special yeah. edition kind of thing lah. Yes oh. yes. Ah okay okay. Wah, next time next time, Kanan Jamie must visit you ah. Come on, just give me a call. <laughs> it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while, man. I don't, we do not know when, when, when this whole situation will drag on with MCO and all. Yeah, true. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Nas is easier. <laughs> Have you met Nas before? Uh, no. Mm. At first, I didn't know he was in JB until he's I was from like, JB. He's some from of JB. his video is like very familiar. Ah, uh, he's from JB. He's from JB. Yeah, mm. he started with JB. I think, but he he goes back and forth lah between Clang Valley and JB. Hmm, I see. So, hey, you four years, five years in the recon business. So, what do you? What have you? What car have you gotten for yourself? Hmm, no lah. Uh, my first car. Uh huh. Upon my graduation, huh? my family bought me a Kanchil. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Kanchil yes. is yeah. very reliable. <laughs> very, yeah. Yours was very. the 660 or 850cc? Uh, the 850cc manual. Uh-huh. Oh, ah. yeah, hey, I remember 850cc, nice. the, the tachometer hit 10,000 RPM one, you know. Yeah, but you, uh-huh. I don't need to wrap it so high. <laughs> <laughs> but the good thing is it never break down before. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Somehow, 90s Japanese engineering can't beat them for reliability. Like. <laughs> then, all the, all the while, right, I was thinking of changing car when mm-hmm. I was owning the Kanjil. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then, um, in the end, I just hold and hold and hold my purchase of the new car mm-hmm. until my car NCD hit 55. Mm. Uh, then, I bought my new car. Which is? Which is the Proton Iris. Oh, ah, I brought the one point six premium. Oh, okay. The it, you, mm. yours is the facelift one or the pre facelift one? Uh, the latest one. The latest uh, one, ah. one. Latest mm. one, ah. Hey, keep an eye on your watch. Watch your cooling system, you know. Cooling system. Cooling system. Last time when I uh when I had the persona right, uh the car had issues with the thermostat pipe, so it caused the car to overheat. So oh, that's something to watch out for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and sure, later sure. on, I, I learned that it was quite a common issue. Mm. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll take note on that. But my car's still new. Ah, yeah, la, yeah, la, yeah, la. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you never I travel buying, quite a lot. You never thought of buying something mm. from your own company? Yeah? Uh, <laughs> not now, la, not now. La. With not the now. current economy, mm-hmm. not so affordable. Fair because enough. recon market the price range is slightly higher. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. So it's breaking the hundred hundred K mark already. True, true. And actually I think mm. most of the recon 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 cars are like in the 
closer to like you know 180 200 right um, maybe 1 150 lah, 150 160 what can you buy for 150 or 160 um, you for recent one maybe the wish is still available i still got wish ah. yeah yeah the wish is still available the last batch of production is the 2017 one Hmm. So we still have like one year more to go because recon car maximum is five years. Then what happens? Then we cannot like... bring in anymore. Oh, cannot bring in anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cannot bring in anymore. But when the car comes in, right, is there a, a, a limit to how, is there a time limit where by a certain time you must sell the car by? Uh, not really. Not really lah. So you so Not the really. car basically can stay unregistered for a long time before you can sell it lah. Yes. If you are good, you can find very old unregistered car in the market. But it's gonna be sitting there for like very long. Oh those are the kind Not, of cars Not, that at wise. I, I, I wouldn't dare to touch, man. Just the just yeah. changing all the hoses and rubbers alone would, would cost you a yes. few thousand. Right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Ask you this. Since you are mm. here, right? You use Evo Club insurance? Yeah. So, it couldn't be, it couldn't be on your iris? Uh, no. Uh, it's on my family car. Uh -huh. So, it's an Altis. Altis. Which year yes, one? Altis. Uh? Uh, 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. Oh, okay. But it's the facelift uh, with the dual VVTi and the, the CVT speed, one, CVT. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I remember reviewing that car. I remember reviewing that car when it first came out. Mm. Not yeah, bad. The car is nice. Uh. Quite com very comfortable car. Very, very yes. comfortable car. And it was a very big improvement from uh, from the pre phase one. one right? yeah. yeah. Yes. But yeah. how's the. What's very the steep. What's the value very... of that car now? <laughs> Uh, I think it's 32 Ooh. some insured I think or 30, 35 I wow, forgot already you still can get 35 some insured ah. yeah wow not bad man that is that is Toyota resale value so much yeah weight. actually before we bought that car right uh, because I'm more familiar with cars so yeah. actually I'm the one that advised my family to go look on which car. Uh. So when we bought the car, I bought it used. Uh -huh. We are comparing few cars. Uh. Uh. So uh, I was considering the Civic FD also. Okay, okay. Uh, but the real seat is not that suitable for all people. For FD? Uh? Uh, yes. Oh. Because my parents would be, because I travel KL a lot mm -hmm. with my family mm -hmm. also. So, mm -hmm. For them to sit for like four hours every trip, it's not that good. You feel back pain. <laughs> but, when but you are old, you can feel it. But the Civic FD's handling is very good. Yeah. Civic FD handling very good. Real double wish. I consider that because I like it. Yeah. Actually, right. But you, you know, need to think of the old people. You know, the, the thing is that the Civic FD, uh, that time when, when it first came out, right, it was like, you know, so so wow, you know, the car, right? The design, the exterior design was so sleek. Then the uh the, the digital speedometer. Yes. Right. I mean, by today's standards, that you look at the if you look at the spec sheet to spec sheet, that car is out of date today. But yeah, if you just see that car's design and the interior design, you'll be like, wow, hey, this car has aged. Very well. You you don't you wouldn't expect yeah, yeah. that it's uh what fifteen year old design? Yeah, 20, eh, 2006? Six, oh, six. 15 yeah, yeah, oh, six. Yes, yes. Yeah. I remember yes. when that car first came out, right? I was like, wow, that is like my, that, that car at that time became like wow, that was my dream car, man. One day I want to buy that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but never got around go around to do it. But still, mm. I think it, that car has, has the, the Civic FD's design has aged very, very well. Very, very yes. well. I think the, the resale, the resale of the FD is still is probably slightly better than the than the Altis right now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So 
how much do you save on when you when with your insurance for the artist the latest renewal? Uh, when I was looking at my renewal notice, right? So uh, I received a letter uh, from the company, lah. Uh, uh, the insurance one. So it was around thousand three. Okay. That was without without the additional coverage like windscreen. Uh, okay. Yeah. Before so, windscreen. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, so I was thinking because number one, my parents is now using the car. Mm-hmm. So he don't really use the car that much. Uh. Mm. So then I remember about the pro mileage. The they kept the mileage right. So mm. one year five thousand. I was calculating mm. the uses of my parents. So I was thinking, eh, maybe I can give this a try. Mm. Then when I got the code for the car, it was seven nine nine. Seven nine so nine. Thousand three and eight hundred, so it's around almost five hundred plus. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, that's yeah. one month installment for your iris, right? Yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. Right. But actually, interesting that you that you that you brought brought up the topic of add-ons, because yeah, I, yeah, because I think um, yeah, look, windscreen add-on that one is I think quite common. Uh, do you do you take flood coverage? Mm, I'm always considering to take it, but in the end, I didn't take it, you know. <laughs> oh, but is your area not that prone to flood, is it, I presume? Mm, yeah, my, my place still okay, uh, unless I went to some places that are flood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for me for me now, right, I, I, I must take flood coverage. Eh? I reduce the oh. insured value, never mind, but I must take flood coverage. Oh, your yeah. your area got flat, is it? Uh, sometimes you never know. Sometimes, right? Because you know, like like I, I tell you a story. Yeah, uh, a few weeks ago, right? I was driving uh on this road in in uh, the Subang Airport there, right? So it was traffic jam. Okay, car was moving, traffic jam. Then I see water rising. You know, I actually oh. see the water is rising. You know, then the fellow in front of me. Okay, I think he never see flood before in his whole life. I can see that there is, there is empty road in front, but the flood just stopped there and he took his phone out to, to, to take picture of the flood. Take picture. Said, hey, brother, move your car away. The, the water okay. is not waiting for you to take your picture, you know. Okay. Right? When, when you see flood coming up, you right, you don't wait ready, you jalan ready. Yeah, true, uh, true. So uh, that, that, that one moment now uh, make me very, very stressed. So in terms of like my area, there's no there's no uh flood is not an issue. But you know, sometimes you just when we all go out to work, we do not know where we go and park and meet people for meetings and all. Yeah, true. True. But yeah. if I was still in my previous workplace, I will get the coverage. Because Your... I think you know, the quarter thingy is very badly flooded. Ah. ah, maybe that's why that was that would have been your Subaru Subaru showroom, right? Uh Toyota. Oh, you also worked in Toyota. Yeah. So what you went but Subaru? Not that long. Subaru. Toyota. Toyota. Then Recon. Ah. But my company still do Toyota. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah that's right. I remember. Recon, uh-huh. Lexus JB, uh-huh. and also Toyota in JB. Uh yeah oh yeah 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 that's right I remember hey, if I'm not wrong Mutiara also runs a team in the Vios Gazoo Racing Series right yes yes yes. yes yeah 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 yes. yeah yeah that's right that's right the Gia Garage in JB is our company oh have they sold uh, a Supra yet there the Supra I'm not sure about the Supra but the Yaris is everything is gone ah uh. huh? gone uh. so okay uh, okay Yaris taken already. Uh, nice, 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 nice. <sighs> okay, so uh, anything in any other interesting stories that you can share with us from your 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 three interesting workplaces? You know, with Subaru sh- salesperson, Toyota salesperson. Ah, yes, something to ask you between selling Subaru and Toyota, and I'm sure. As a salesman, customers always come back to you with feedback of their cars, right? Yes. Right. So, 
in your experience as uh, Subaru versus Toyota versus Recon, mm. what sort of feedbacks, interesting feedback have you got regarding your your all, all these from all these cars over the years that you know that you can give us like new mm. insight? Mm. I think uh, what we can say is every car have their problem. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessary that if you bought a new car, mm. it's better than a used or a con one. Mm. It's, it's luck, la, we say, but yep. maybe your, your percentage of um, having problem is lesser, but that doesn't mean it doesn't come with problem. Mm. So let's say Toyota, uh, if you are not, if you are the unlucky person, mm-hmm. you will have some problem with it. Uh. Yeah. Because yeah. we do see some customers, even in Toyota, yeah. they complain that their car, after replacing and replacing, then their car got problem. But that's very little. Yeah. Compared yeah. to the amount of car that they sell. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't run away one. The car is such a, is such a complex machine. Yes. Thousands yes. of parts. They make yes. thousands of cars. There's no way that, you know, thousands of parts times thousands of cars, you won't have one, one lemon car, no way. La. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the funny story is last time when I was in uh, secondary school, I used to tumpang my, my neighbor's car to school. And this neighbor of mine has the fortune of driving the only Camry that I've ever heard of that go workshop after mm-hmm. workshop after workshop. On. <laughs> oh, but because sometimes the, it's about the user, you know. Yeah, yeah it could be. That I don't know. Nobody realizes it. Uh, I mean, it could be mm. also, it could be also. But this one, you know, lady driver. I don't uh, know. I see. But, but yeah, say, I, I mean, some, sometimes it's, it could be users. So it could be user. We don't mm. know. We don't know what sort of what sort of uh, usage that mm. that that the cars are subjected to, right? Yeah. 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 Right. So, anyways, Jason, thank you so much for your mm. time. It was a nice, sweet, lovely chat with you. I love your yeah, smile. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're like you are like radiating. It, and make, it makes me. It makes me younger, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much for your time. And sure. uh, I look forward to one day coming down to JB to catch up with you at, at your at your place. Yeah. Check out the the the, the cars at your showroom. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just give me a call. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And uh, meanwhile, we'll stay in touch through Horizon Facebook, through uh, Evo Club Facebook group, and uh, yeah. Any parting words before we sign out? Hmm. If you are in JB, you're looking for cars, maybe give me a call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, later you, later you give me your, your phone number, your contact details, I put it in the description section. Yeah, okay. okay guys, you. if you're in JB, you're looking for a recon car, Jason's the man. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, here, him, him, him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good night, bro. Take okay. care. Yeah, right. thank you. Bye. 